welcome back to my channel data bi sql so today uh, we will uh, go over uh, some of the uh, qu uh, interview questions related to user table uh, uh, so user table uh, right it's, it's very important uh, uh, to many companies right i mean uh, not only for amazon but any other retail company you take uh, uh, obviously you the user growth the frequency of user the, the active users is very important uh, to retail industry as well as social media media industry because uh, you want your users to be engaged right i mean they will do a, do a various count like daily active users they will say monthly active users yearly active users uh, the, obviously the companies would prefer that uh, they have higher daily active users but if not uh, at least a higher monthly active users and that growth should happen right i mean because uh, if the users are uh, just coming for one month and not coming for every month or just coming once or twice in a year, that's not a good sign. Uh, more users growth, growth you have, more engagement you have, uh, more your product sales or more your advertising can be on social media. So uh, it's pretty important table. Uh, so uh, it is very common uh, for these questions to come up. Uh, so we'll just go over some of the questions. Uh, but before that, right, I mean, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I request you guys and also like my videos. That gives me a lot of encouragement uh, to make more and more of uh, these kind of videos. Uh, so uh, let's let's get uh, get through the tables, right? So if you see, and and, and one other thing I wanted to mention is uh, I am uh, I am putting all the scripts uh, in in the in the comment section of the video. So if you see the create table, insert table, write data, and and and, the, and all the select scripts also I'll try and put. Sometimes uh, there is a restriction of 5,000 characters in comments. So if I am not able to paste all the rows like there are 37 rows here uh, then uh, i'll truncate some of the rows like I'll, I'll remove some of the rows and then uh, you can uh, you know you can add it on your own or you can just work with the data set like 20 25 rows and that should also work fine uh, so you all you need is just push grid admin pg admin uh, and then install it and you'll run the script and you will be able to see exactly the same replica of the data on the tables that i i'm showing in the video uh, so let's get started so here uh, there, there is a user table pretty simple right i mean user transaction so there is a user id there is a item which is purchased there is purchase date there is revenue so if you run the table i am just trying to order by user id uh, so if you see a uh, pretty common like uh, user id and then there is item that is purchased by this user id then there is purchase date and then there is revenue for each of the item so the first question that is asked is find out the daily active users display user id and purchase date right so what they are saying is give me the daily active users count right so uh, since they are asking by purchase date what we will do is purchase underscore date and then count of distinct user id okay this is very important Okay, and do it on user ID, not on ID, because ID is common. ID is like a primary key. It's not defined as primary key, but it's like a. If you, if you were to just sort by ID, then it will be like what, 37 rows. So uh, you need to do it by user ID, and you need to do distinct. Because why? Because one user can come uh, purchase two items on the same day, right? That's possible. So you don't have to double count that user because it's by user, right? It's not by how many times the purchase has been done. Right. I mean, if they say, give me the count of total purchases by that user, then that's a different thing. But here it's count of distinct count count of users coming daily. Right. So if one user come two times, you don't have to double count. That will bump up your user count. So just make sure that you put distinct. Okay. Uh, from transaction. Right. And you have to use group by. Okay. Because if you don't use group by, it's not going to work. See, user transaction must appear in group by because it's an aggregate function. So count is an aggregate function, right? So that's why we have to sum, count, uh, all those are aggregate functions. So we have to group by, and we and, and they want to see it by group by purchase date, right? To so group by purchase date, and then if you want to uh, do an order by, that's fine. It's not being asked, but let's just do order by. So if you run this query, I think I did not select the entire query, right? So it is giving the user count for three, three, it is one, three, four, it is two, in three, eighteen. If you see, there are four users that purchased the item, 
like there are four distinct users so it is giving you the count by each day okay uh, 18 to 2022 is giving three okay so that's your daily active users okay next is month find out monthly active users display user id and your and month of purchase okay so here what we need to do is if you have uh, looked at my other videos i think in part four i covered this uh, you can uh, extract month and year from the date right so here if you put extract month from month from purchase underscore date okay as month okay display user id year and month of purchase right so you need to put year also okay so you need to have year also okay right exactly covered your year in the other other video okay so you just need to this is a postgres command uh, i think uh, sql server it's pretty straightforward uh, you just need to put month and then column name here you need to say extract okay year this month okay and then again count of distinct because here obviously the counts will uh, will will be there right i mean there are many users can it can come multiple times in a month like let's say if you were to buy something on amazon you obviously do a count you know multiple times right like you can place an order seven or eight days in a month so you need to be counted as one only because you are the one purchase one user purchasing the item right from user underscore transactions and here you need to do group by both okay just copy these commands So now what you see, uh, 2021 month 3, 18 users are there, 2021 4, 2 users are there, 5, 2 users are there, 1, 2 and for February it is 6. But if you see here, right, they are showing month in numeric, okay, so month is being displayed in numeric, uh, which basically, you know, uh, we should display it in, in the January, February and things like that, right. So to do that, what we need to do is instead of extract, there is another uh, uh, another uh, function in Postgres called to care. Okay, so you need to use this to care, and then you need to just simply write month. Okay, so what it will do is it will just extract month from the uh, from uh, from it will do the same thing as extract but it will display the month name right that's what we want right i mean we want it by month name so here if you see it's actually displaying you the month name right it's displaying you 2021 march is 18 april is 2 may is 2 february is 6 and january is 2 okay here same thing so if you don't do if you don't do distinct right see what happens you have like 18 users in march right the count will bump up so if you see 2021 march you have 25 users why because those other seven users like they they came seven different times right so if you look at that data it's obviously pretty clear from the data also so if you see march right i mean march 103 user right came two times in march correct see 29 and 31 108 came uh, they, they are two different but 112 came two times right so obviously that's why your testing is very important okay all right so that gives you the correct answer over here right january yeah. okay now find out yearly active users display user id and year of purchase okay 
Oh, actually, this is not user ID. Okay, it's my mistake. I think uh, I I probably you know uh, display the purchase date. So user ID now uh, it's display by month and year. Okay, I think I monthly active users display or in month of purchase. Okay. Same thing. Display the year of purchase. Okay, because if you do, you can do by user ID also, but then it doesn't make sense, right? Like it's active users, but I mean if you if they give you a question where uh, give me the users also right which are user ids which are coming each month also then you can put user id there okay and for year it is uh, straightforward right i mean uh, you just need to remove month you need to remove month from that uh, right so if you remove month then you it will just group by uh, month correct it will just group by sorry it will just group by year Correct. So whatever you put in here, it will group by that. So in this query, it group by month. Since we are removing month from here, it will group by year. Okay. So it is doing group by year. So 2021, 19, and 7. Again, you have to do distinct because if you want to see the rows, total rows are 37. But here, if you sum it up, it's like 26 because obviously those 7, 8 users came multiple times in a, a, a you know, in, in, in different months, right? Same thing, like a, a user can come multiple times in, a, in in different months. So here, since they are saying yearly active user, right? I mean, so I can purchase the item from Amazon like every month, right? Uh, so if I purchase all the months, like I, I should not be counted 12 times. It be counted once because the, the, the because the division or group by, not division, the group by uh, is, is happening by year, right? So that's a that's year, okay? So, uh, uh, so like we all uh, cover like daily, monthly and yearly. So uh, what we learned is probably group by, right? Group by and different levels. So uh, uh, your extract and then to care uh, is the function we learned, right? I mean, so if you want to display the month name and not just month I, month number, you need to use the to care function and then yearly obviously group by year. So this obviously, as I mentioned, this this, these are the these are the common questions that can obviously come up because uh, they want to get right. I mean, you can have a trend of uh, yearly, monthly, uh, daily. The other the other thing that can come up is show me the growth of the users, right? Every month or month, year over year. And I'll try, try and cover the video on that as well, right? I mean, that's also important, right? Especially social media companies. If you see, it's very important for them that every year and every month or month they see the user growth, right? So they can say. They can sell more and more advertising, right? I mean, more users you have, more advertisement you sell, more money you make, right? It's pretty simple. So definitely they want to gauge your knowledge uh, on all these things. Like you can do analytics on this or not. Or you can do the trend on this or not, right? I mean, so it's pretty important question. So uh, let me know if you have any comments or if you have any questions on this. And that's it for it today, guys. Thank you.